preach the word so that the whole creation defeats Satan. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel is the continuation of the parable of weeds and wheat. Today's part of the gospel actually explains the parable of Jesus that is wheat and weeds. So the wheat belongs to the kingdom of God and the weeds belong to the kingdom of evil. The good seed was sown but then these weeds also came up and it was told that it is the evil who actually planted the weeds. The fact is, my dear brothers and sisters, evil is a reality. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, the evil presence in our midst is a reality. So, from where does it come? How, you know, it has come when God created everything good. So, why is the evil around us and why does he harm to us? These are the questions that I am not going to deal with in today's reflection but the reality of the presence of evil that is what I'm saying because right in the beginning when God created the world and the first human beings Satan was present and in the form of this snake he came to deceive the first parents and so he did deceive them and then from there the sin and the multiplication of sins and then the presence of evil was always explained in the Bible so in fact, the human being, the sins multiplied and the whole human race is affected. So, at the end, Jesus had to come to save us from sin, death and evil. Jesus, the Word of God, became man, lived in our midst. So, Jesus, with his death on the cross, shedding his blood and with his resurrection, Jesus has defeated the Satan, all his powers. In fact, the final result of the sin is death. Even death is defeated by Jesus. So Jesus is victorious and he is a living God. As we live our life in the midst of this evil world, so evil will be visible to us from different forms, through people, through catastrophes, through disasters, you know, so evil will be present. And till the end of the world, we need to live our life by knowing that, yes, the reality of evil is present around us. How we live our life is the question. In spite of knowing the evil can harm us, in spite of knowing the evil can you know, trouble us. So, first of all, we need to believe that the word of God, that Jesus Christ became man and now he is present in the word of God. So the word of God and Jesus is the same. That's exactly the book of Revelation tells us. So Jesus is present to us today in the word of God. He is also alive. Therefore, his powers through the Holy Spirit we can always experience in our life and definitely through the sacrament, especially through the Eucharist and reconciliation. These are the powerful sacraments where Jesus becomes present with his graces. So what we need is while we live our life is that we need to believe strongly in the living God, that Jesus Christ. And that he has given us his word which is with us. So with this word we have to defeat Satan and all his powers around us. Because remember this, that Jesus has already defeated Satan and his all powers are crushed. That's what the word of God tells us again and again. And this is our faith. Therefore, we need to preach the word of God to all the nation, to every person. That's why Jesus, when he was ascended into heaven and then he, he gave them commandment, go to the whole world and preach the gospel. So while preaching the gospel, the evil will be crushed and there will be salvation spread all over the world. So what is important for us is the preaching of the word of God which will in turn bring peace and salvation. So the more and more people come to know the word of God, people will live in faith, 
people will live with the power of the resurrection of Jesus and so the more you know the power of the resurrection of Jesus you will able to defeat satan on a regular basis in your life when satan comes to you in the form of temptation when satan comes to you in the form of infections and other forms where he is present we can defeat satan because Jesus is victorious and we share the victory of Jesus that's what Romans tells us in Romans 8:37 that we are all victorious in Jesus we need to believe this word we need to apply the word in our life we need to preach the word to the people and people should live the word of God and with that word we need to defeat satan and all his powers around us from all temptation from all evil forces that are around us and we will be able to as long as we live the word of god and therefore every person in order to defeat satan he need to know the word he need to know jesus christ and therefore it's important that we preach the word and we preach jesus christ so that the whole creation defeats satan as we live our life we also live with the victory of jesus we share in the victory of jesus and we constantly defeat the satan around us